another beautiful day in Ohio in this back to back time this is my 2024 beta 300 race edition picked this up from my good friends at Pony Power Sports Columbus Ohio this is a 24 model so it's got two spark plugs twice the fun it's got a more beefier frame head here fortunately I haven't felt any negatives with that it's a beta so it's got it's supposedly the seats more comfortable it's still very hard it's rideable and it has the race edition so it's kyb suspension that stuff is good right out of the box a very good woods focused setting maxis tires this year uh they're so so dry today so it shouldn't be any big deal all stock jetting this is probably the cleanest running 300 two-stroke i've ever had even compared to the efi bikes i've had this is my 2025 350 xcf picked it up from my good buddy wally ktm wheel sports columbus ohio and this bike i've had a lot of fun it's completely stock except for this cool full akrapovich exhaust lighter smaller biggest thing is it's quieter and has a spark arrestor and performance is great also i put the cuo unit on this thing so this way you can um tune the engine dial back the engine braking that's the biggest thing it's 190 bucks just for the cuo unit or 250 if you want to get the fender and the gps to use lip pro all you really need is that turn engine braking down that's probably the biggest thing but you can dial the power back you can turn the power up and let's do a short woods loop back to back as i mentioned this is this is just such a good running 300 engine. I got a short loop here. Back to backs are just fun, fun way to compare bikes. And just see what the different characteristics are. Now, I haven't been on the beta for a couple weeks, but it's easy to jump on. The power is so smooth. And it's got that crisp two stroke response no engine braking and the great kyb suspension gal for brake rotors with this and calipers so plenty of strong brake it's a 300 so you can Work it down. Crazy good agility. And the, just the the ergos. I'm six two hundred ninety, and everything's stock. The bars are a little low, but I don't really notice it because the the pegs feel kind of down and back. So I, I don't really feel any big need to change anything. It's got an easy clutch pull. And in these dry conditions, the uh, no problem with the Maxxis tires. Just when it gets muddy, they're not as good. Oh, it's fun to get back on the two-stroke again because they're so responsive. Short shift and just torque. And it just rips. It's funny, they're so free into the corners because there's no compression brake. You don't have to worry about dialing it back. Six three, okay, forty six three, beta rideability, super simple. Okay, let's jump on the high tech machine with computer mapping. Five hours. That bike has five hours too. So again, I'm at map one, which is the CUO gravel, wet. Oh, 
I guess we better try that again. <laughs> Gravel wet, minimum engine braking, minimum throttle response, maximum traction control. And that just dials this bike back because they are quite responsive. Well, even with the engine braking minimized, you can still feel it. But this, this is a fun, engine. The cool thing was yesterday I was at Briarcliff MX riding this bike and in there I dialed the engine response up. But in the woods I just take my dial it back. And this new more compliant chassis for 25 works great with these spring forks. I'm actually doing all this in second. I'll go down the first tier for a little bit tighter, but just cover the clutch. Obviously with a recluse it would be super easy. But it's a four strokes, so it has that nice Planted feel. Brembo brakes are awesome. Very controllable. And they got AT81 rear, MX33 front. I would probably go. I wish I had an MX34 front, that's better. Even dialed back, these things have a lot of power. Just when it starts revving. And they have a, just a very planted feel at the tires. Forty-one five. Huh. Well, it's a little quicker. Maybe I pushed harder on this one, but boy, the four-stroke is just planted. Super easy to control. It flows. Engine braking dial back. You can, you can really. It just frees these bikes up. Dial it up. Dial it back. Very good. The new WP spring forks. That's what I used at Barcliff Moto yesterday. Today it looks like I'm to here. Super good. Plush. This is all stock. I opened the clickers up a little bit. Front and rear on the shock. Super good. Beta rideability. Simple. Easy. Low, low tech, but it just works. This is really fun. I always have a 300 smoker and a 300 thumper in the garage. Two big thumbs up on another beautiful day in Ohio.